to test whether the membrane is functioning correctly, you can use a TDS meter. This TDS meter is simply on and off, has a cap, and just needs to be um, submerged into water up until this line. And then what we want to do is we want to first measure the source water and record that um, before it goes to the filter system, like just from a normal tap. And then um, on the filter system itself, we want to test the two lines if you have the membrane here, um, where the membrane in, where you put the membrane in is on that side, and then on the other side of the membrane, you'll have two elbows. The one to the furthest to the end is a non-return valve, and um, the other one is the one going to the drain. So somewhere along the line, and with the non-return valve, the product water, if you close the tank, you can take it directly from the tap, and the drain one you want to see where you can access it easily. If the, the drain connection is physically in the, in the drain, it um, makes it a little bit difficult. The specific unit's got a Fermient pump on, but ideally you want to take the water sample off to the flow restrictor of here, and then just measure the TDS of both the, the, the drain connection and of the product water. And with the source water as well, then we should be able to um, look at the, the membrane and check uh, from those readings whether the membrane is functioning correctly or whether there might be some leakage between the different areas. Like for example, if it's not sealing properly on this end, you can get that um, some of the, the wastewater side is leaking into the product water line or vice versa. Or if we, if we um, see that the, the incoming water is just a very high TDS and it is bringing it down, then it might be that something in the source water has changed. But from that information, we should be able to um, troubleshoot a membrane.